It's always good to have a good home score and for us to utilize this last home meet and to get a good home score, it's always going to help our RQS and it's really exciting because we're going to, the best of our meets this season are away so they, we can use them to really help our uh, RQS as a whole so it was a good feeling. We had a good week, a good meet on bars. Uh, they had a season high, 49-35. Um, and really what, what it comes down to is the girls just put together a good rotation, built from one score to the next, um, and really went out and did what they do every day and um, were able to focus a little bit on some of the extra details and that kind of makes a difference in your season highs. It was really amazing. Uh, I had my family there, which was great just to have them. And my brother came down to Corvallis for the first time and it's amazing to just have them in my home territory. And when the intro video played and I saw like little clips of me in my freshman year, <laughs> me and Hannah started tearing up, but you know, we had to get our emotions in check and be ready to go. And the whole news was fun. Like, I was really celebrating my career and just being here. And it was a blessing to just be on this team and experience this. It's, we're fortunate to be in the back 12 and have some good competition, but the, the teams that we bring in, um, it's important that we bring in the better teams we bring in, uh, the better it helps our performance. Um, and going into the postseason, that's the way it's gonna be. You're gonna see the best in the country. So it's good to have those people out as much as possible and have the girls ready for it. And ultimately, uh, gymnastics, we really try to just focus on doing our job, um, but it's important to start stack up and see how, how that goes against the best in the country. It went in the blink of an eye. Um, I remember my freshman year and then Bridge and how we got here and we were the newbies and not knowing what's going on and then now I'm the grandma of the team and I'm the senior, <laughs> but it's really exciting though. Uh, it's been a great run and we're not done yet, so I'm excited. Chelsea, Erica, and Hannah all scored 9-9, um, which were season bests and career bests, I think, for all of them. Um, and the, the big thing for them is that we do those things every day in practice. We, we do a lots of those routines um, of that quality. Uh, it's just a matter of going out in the competition when um, there's some pressure and you, you can feel it and you really want to do your best performance and actually being able to do it under those circumstances. My favorite memory at Oregon State, there's so many. Um, from the coaches to the teammates to the fans to everyone. Like just coming here in general, like the whole four year experience was my favorite memory of my lifetime and I'll always cherish this. We're at the point where obviously our home meets are done, but uh, our regional qualifying score is pretty heavily dependent on away scores. And at this point, uh, we have only, rem only remaining meets are on the road. Um, and that's good. It gives us an opportunity to really improve our, our RQS and our position going into the postseason. So starting this week in Arizona, it's going to be important that we put up a good score, uh, try to replace some of those scores that we had earlier in the season, um, improve our RQS, and get used to competing on the road because that's where the season's going to end up at. Corrales will always be a, a home away from home for me. I always have friends here, family, and then coaches that you, know, you just come back and relive all the exciting times that you had. So Corrales will always be a home for me.